one of the descendants of the 1878 Sulu Sultan has been accused as terrorist by the Malaysian government. On the 11th of April, 2023 the Malaysian government accused Muhammad Fawad Abdullah Kiram, one of the descendants of the 1878 Sulu Sultanate, as a terrorist for his alleged link to a group of Sulu people who went to Lahad Dachu and wanted to live in their ancestral land in 2013. Director General of the Prime Minister's Department's Legal Affairs Division, K.A. Erolza Amida Yud, said, the Wad Kiram had been part of the Royal Sulu Force, RSF, which the government currently considers a terrorist group. Home Minister the Tuxia Saifu Din Nasution Ismail has declared for Wad Kiram as a terrorist entity under Section 66B of the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001 effective April 6. The RSF was involved in a standoff with Malaysian security forces in Lahad Dachi, North Borneo, in February 2013. Reminding that the territory has been leasing by the Malaysian government from the Sulu Sultanate since 1963 when the government subscribed to the 1878 contract of lease agreement. Fawad Kiram is also one of the eight descendants who successfully secured in Spain the final arbitration award of Dr. Gonzalo Stamper against Malaysian government in December 2022 which the Malaysian government didn't want to announce publicly, demanding 14.92 billion US dollars, plus 10% of interest per annum if the amount is still remain unpaid, for a breach of contract of the 1878 contract of lease agreement of North Borneo. On the 1st of December, 2022 the Superior Court of Justice of Madrid, the Spanish court that appointed Dr. Stamper, made a unanimous ruling that not only was the arbitration process in the Sulu case still valid and extant, but that it had never been annulled by that court, or any other court nor by any action by Malaysia's lawyers. Moreover, the ruling stated categorically that Malaysian lawyers failed to pursue the appropriate action necessary to try to annul the arbitration awards. The accompanying judgment described the Malaysian legal actions as procedural fraud. In spite of repeated requests by Malaysia for the court to declare the arbitration as invalid, annulled or unlawful, the court judgment categorically refused to accede to those requests, and closed the matter. Dr. Stampus' award on jurisdiction is therefore final and binding in Spain. The Malaysian government could not prove that the 1878 contract of lease agreement between Sultan Jamalul Alam on one side, and Gustavo's Baron de Overbeck and Alfred Dent on the other side was a session agreement according to their claim. On the 14th of March, 2023, the Paris Court of Appeal maintains the stay order obtained by Malaysia on the 12th of July, 2022. Malaysian government stopped to honor the 1878 contract of lease agreement by not paying the descendants of the 1878 Sulu Sultanate since 2013, violating the said agreement. The said agreement did not give the lessee forward slash tenant, Malaysian government, the authority to oust or murder the people of his lessor forward slash landlord, Sultan of Sulu who wish to stay and live to their ancestral land in North Borneo. K. A. Errol stated that a new approach would be taken by the Unity government in dealing with the Sulu heirs claim. He said the previous approach was to appeal against decisions by foreign courts and seek to set aside the awards granted. But under the new leadership, the approach had been changed to an offensive mode. K.A. Errol also said the cabinet had agreed to appoint a UK-based public relations firm to manage the global narrative and media strategy regarding the case, and that Wes Putra had sent a diplomatic note to 171 countries where the award was enforceable under the New York Convention. He added that the Home Minister would also visit France, 
Spain, Luxembourg and Netherlands, the four countries involved in the arbitration of the case. To explain to his counterparts the issues and facts surrounding the claim, K. A. Errol noted that the Legal Affairs Division would also engage with stakeholders in North Borneo on the case. On the 11th of April, 2023 Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Legal and Institutional Reform, the Tuxir Azalina Uthman Syed, said the facts of the case are not very solid. Because until now it is not known whether the claimant, for what Ki Ram, is really the heir of Sultan Jamalul Ki Ram II. The Sunyu claim against Malaysia also ignored the will of the people of Sabah, self-determination, to join Malaysia in 1963 as reported by the Cobold Commission. On 10 March, 2022 the descendant's lawyer, Elizabeth Mason, said, The Malaysian government knows the claimants well, knows that they peacefully engage with Malaysia. The claimants were the rightful heirs to the Sultanate, and that they were the same people who Malaysia had been making payments to for years. As a matter of fact whenever the Malaysian government paid the lease money, which they insisted as session money, to the descendants of the 1878 Sunyu Sultanate in the past, the government officially notifies for what Ram about the transaction, 